Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Rob's World of Boxing. Upset alert, upset alert, man. Ryan just shocked the world. I know it, nigga damn well shocked me. I thought the man was insane. I thought he was crazy as hell. That nigga just beat the hell out of Devin Haney, man. And it really hurt me to say that, man. You know, I'm from the same place he from, man. Town business, man. But shit, man. Woo! It was ugly. Let's get into it. Ryan Garcia was coming off of a win. But he was really coming off of that Javante Davis loss. And losing his motherfucking mind after it, man. Devin the Dream Haney was coming off of a spectacular performance versus Regis Re Re Rugeru Progray, man, where he looked like he was, you know, sh well, he was sharp as a knife. You know, he looked like he was in his prime, man. He looked like he was the face of, I ain't going to say all that, because, you know, my favorite fighter is Corey Stevenson, man. But he was looking like the face of boxing, man. He was, he's was he been undisputed champion at 135. Looked like he was coming up to 140 to do the same thing, man, and I thought this Ryan Garcia fight was just going to be, you know, another step in that direction of him doing that. Boy, was I wrong. Boy, was I wrong. Man, from the opening bell, it was bad for Dev, man. Ryan caught him with that left hook, instantly wobbled his legs, had him out there, you know what I'm talking about, doing a clown walk or something, man, I don't know what he was doing. Look like the air walk, old school air walk, man. But he was wobbled. Second round, Dev, you know, showed a lot of heart, showed a lot of grit. Bit down on the bullet, man. Won that second round just by boxing and doing what, you know, doing what Dev does. And I feel like, not to get too far ahead, but I feel like Dev should have did what he did in the second round all fight, man. You know, just box and just kick back, you know, and use that jab. Let the fight come to you. He actually started trying to uh, get on his front foot a lot, you know, and be the aggressor in the fight. I felt like that was a mistake, you know. I felt like he was trying to prove the people wrong and saying that he was going to be in there running and not meeting Ryan. Even him and Ryan made a bet like they was going to meet in the middle of the ring. I thought that... Uh, you know, he was just trying to prove people wrong and trying to show that, he, you know, he can fight in the middle of the ring and on his front foot. But like I said, that was a mistake. You know, um, no lie, though, he was doing good even with fighting on the front foot. I felt like he won every round until he didn't, man. And let me get into one he did in the seventh round. I felt, whew, Jesus, it was ugly. It was ugly, man. That was the first time Dev went down in the seventh round, man. And yeah, I'm I'm surprised he made it out the seventh round. I feel like uh I feel like the referee was saving him, bro. He, you know, he took a point from Ryan. And Dev was holding excessively in that seventh round. If anything, you could have took a point from Dev, you know. But I don't know. I ain't gonna say the ref was on his side. But he wasn't against him. He wasn't against him, man. Fucking, uh, yeah, man. I feel, I feel like, not to get off topic, but I feel like people always, well, Shakur last fight, they was giving him a hard time for making a fight boring, you know? But people don't realize that's a skill to make a fight boring. You know how hard it is? To make something boring and, you know, have a person not really touch you in there, man. When they trying to take your fucking head off. That shit hard as hell. You know, and uh, people don't realize that, man. I always felt like Devin Haney was better at boxing in his mind than he actually is. You know, and we all know he doesn't have a lot of power. You know, so I, I I just, I mean, I'm from the town. He from the town. But I ain't going to lie. I ain't never really been too high on Dev, man. 
I felt like um, his last fight against Regis Rougarou Progre was his best performance, and that kind of put me on his bandwagon. I'm like, all right, Deb doing what he need to do. He coming into his own. So he he might actually prove me wrong, but I ain't wrong too much. So, yeah, man. Um, uh, shit, I, I forget the other rounds Dev went down in, but he went down in a couple more rounds. He went down in a couple more rounds. Um, I, I would like to say the ninth, and I think he went down in, the, like, the, the ninth and the tenth. He went down back-to-back -back rounds, and I felt like in those rounds, if he just would have st st stood on his feet, you know, he would have won the fight, bro. But, um, he couldn't stand on his feet. He kept getting caught. With the left hook, even Ron put him down one time with the with a with a right hand. After the left hook, though, the left hook started that bitch and it followed up with the right hand. Yeah, man. Uh, Ron shocked the world, people. He shocked the fucking world. Fucking um, one judge had to fight one twelve to one twelve. I don't know how he had it that. Um, well, like I said, Dev was winning every round until he was getting dropped, you know, and knocked all over the place, man. It really hurt me to see that happen to Dev, man. I, you know, like I said, I wasn't a bit the biggest believer in the dream, but uh, he come from where I come from, man. He a success story, a survival story, and I felt like, you know, his dynamic with his dad, you know, and Bill coming from where he come from, man. I really wanted him to be the face of boxing, man. I wanted him to succeed, you know, but uh, it ain't over, man. Ryan missed weight. You know, he was overweight by three pounds, so Dev still, is still the champion, you know, but I know he woke up this morning not feeling like a champion, man. Shit, man. Champions got to do what champions do, and that's win, man, and he did not win by any means. Boy, he got the shit beat out of him. It was bad. I don't know if y'all seen it, but if y'all didn't go back, look at the highlights or in Dev's, in Dev's uh, matter, low lights, you know, so. Mm, mm, mm. Good shit, Ryan. You know, getting that win. You needed it. You needed it bad, boy. Motherfuckers was thinking you was out here talking about you identify as a woman and you said Kids getting touched. I don't know. He was talking about hella shit. I lost track. You know, drinking beer, smoking weed, and whoo. Damn. That nigga Dev let a, a nigga who identifies as a woman beat on him. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy as hell. But I know one thing. Dev, bro, we from the same place, blood. But keep that boy Tank name out your mouth, boy. I don't want to see you in the ring with Tank. You see what he did to Ryan, and you see what Ryan did to you. I know Styles make fight, but Javante still got that power, man. And um, Ryan got some power, but he don't have Javante power, man. So Ryan did you like that? I think Javante had you in there having a motherfucking seizure or something, put you out. You, you, you know, your lights out, man. Do not get in there. Or Matias. Don't get in there with Matias either. You know, he kill people, and uh. I don't want to see, man, man, for sure I don't want to see that happen to you, Dad. For sure I don't want to see that happen, man. But yeah, man, so just keep Matias' name out your mouth, and for sure, keep Tank Davis' name out your mouth, man. I say that fight with Shakur, that'd be a cool little fight for you, but you know Shakur, like I said, my favorite fucking fighter. He will not get touched. His defense is superior, you know, and his box IQ it's on another level, man. So that's another loss for you too, though. Uh, I really don't want to see Dev fight anybody else, you know, next except for Ryan Garcia. But I doubt that Ryan and Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy is going to give him that opportunity like he gave them, man. Ryan got that win. It's probably on to the next, man. I want to see Ryan in there with a Tia Fimo. You know, he said you can't make 140 anymore. So, honestly, I don't know where that leaves him. Maybe he goes up to 147. You know, that, that division is wide open, with the exception of Jerron Boots Ennis, who uh, Eddie Hearn was said that uh, Ryan Garcia came up to him after the fight was saying, now what, now what? He was like, Jerron Boots Ennis, and he 
did a go like man it's good you know and uh so i don't, I don't think he want that smoke he better not want that smoke i say Shakur, my favorite fighter jerron boots ennis is my second favorite fighter man so those two guys man they dogs man so stay away from boots uh if you know what's best for you but i say ryan if you can't make 140 it's time for 147 man it's a wide open division but yeah man it was a hell of a fight hell of a well i ain't gonna lie it wasn't a, a hell of a night man the undercard was kind of pool you know it was the zone card the zone has been getting better you know with that but really wasn't nothing to write home about, man. They were all one-sided fights, you know, with the favorites fighting, you know, people who they basically was lined up to beat, you know, all except the main event, man. The main event had two dogs, man. And you see what happened. A big upset, man, a big upset. But like I said, Dev showed a lot of heart, man. He got rocked in the second round. I mean, the first round. He was never the same after that. Um... His legs was never back, and Ryan took advantage of it. I mean, as he should. They were three and three in the amateurs. Now Ryan is one and zero oh in the pros, man. And I think he just kind of, uh, man, he probably he just set Dev back tremendously. You know, I feel like he just took Dev confidence. You know, I feel like man, Dev probably will never be the same. He was always chinny. You know, ever since I already, well, I ain't going to say I already knew it, but ever since that Jorge Lenores fight, I knew Dev was chinny, man. It was only a matter of time. Anytime you let Lenores do you like that and have you on, you know what I'm talking about, doing the clown walk back to the corner, you ain't got it. Your chin is suspect, man. And Ryan exposed me. I feel like now the people got the blueprint. You know, all they gonna do is try to get to that chin. If it's if it's Isaac Pitbull Cruz, like I said, Tia Fimo Lopez, um, well I did say that Tio getting to, um, Javon for sure Javante, Sabriel Matias. I feel like those are all potential losses for Devin Haney, man. Um And I hate to say it, bro. I hate to say it. But I hope he redeemed himself and proved me wrong in the future. But like I said, he did show a lot of heart and he showed a lot of grit. So more power to you to dream, man. Keep your head up. I ain't gonna kick you when you're down. You know, I know you stressed out right now. Bill probably stressed out right now. And you know, don't go into a funk, man. Just sit with it a minute though. You know, realize what you could have did better. You know, look yourself in the mirror and just reflect, man. Reflect. And, uh, man, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know where you go next from here, but don't be too down on yourself, man. You from the town. You did a lot. You know, you came a long way. It's hard to get out of East Oakland, man, and you did, man. So keep your head up, big dog. But, yeah. It's still town business, though, man. You know, I'm going to still fuck with my town, nigga, man. Uh, keep your head up. Ryan Garcia, he shocked the world, man. Good shit. King Rye, man. All right. But, yo, like, comment, subscribe. All that shit, people. Rye's wrote a boxing. Yeah.